Let's go to uh, Ruth. She's in Garland, Texas, listening on Sirius XM 131. Hi, Ruth. How are you? I'm good. It's nice to talk to um, you. Nice to talk to you. I'm very pleased to hear that your health is improving, and I'm praying for you every day. And oh, bless I really you. appreciate the knowledge that you pass on with your program. And my question is a question, actually, that my, my oldest son has. He was asking me, are homosexuals safe? They have the opportunity to have salvation um, and be forgiven of their sin as well. Yeah, and I, that's a hard one for me. It is a hard one, but I think the real question, Ruth, is not to ask whether homosexuals are saved. It is to ask whether people uh, want to follow our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so if a homosexual or a heterosexual wants to be a participant in the kingdom of Jesus Christ, wants Jesus Christ to be their, their Lord and Savior, then obviously that person is going to be received by Jesus Christ. I mean, Jesus Christ does not receive us because we're perfect. He receives us because we want to be his followers. We want to be co-consummators of his kingdom. Now, obviously, as you learn about the principles and precepts of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the most obvious thing that you do is you begin to conform your life to that pattern of behavior because you recognize that he is the one who spoke and the universe left into existence. You recognize that he knit us together in our mother's womb, and therefore we're, we're fearfully and wonderfully made. And all of that together uh, makes us realize that to follow his principles is the wise way to live his life. And if we don't follow his principles, then we have to ask the question, do we really want to call ourselves followers of Jesus Christ in the truest sense of the word? Uh, if, if we're followers of Jesus Christ, then we will do those things that Christ commands us to do. Uh, so I think it's, again, uh, important for us to reframe the issue. Uh, anyone that wants to follow Jesus Christ will be received by Jesus Christ and will be conformed to his image and his likeness. And uh, so, uh, say okay. again? I said through the process of sanctification, you know, that happens once we become saved, you know, becoming more like him and um, having more of his attributes. That's the process of sanctification, correct? Well, that's right. But re remember that when you and I became followers of Jesus Christ, we did not know what we know today, right? Because we learn in a progressive way. So I know a lot more about the principles and precepts of Jesus Christ today than I did when I became a believer at age 29. Uh, so, right. so I am now accountable for what I know. I'm accountable for the light that I have. Uh, and, and, and many people early on in their experience with Christ, they don't understand his principles and precepts. But as they do, to abhor those principles, as opposed to being obedient to those principles, tells whether or not you are truly a follower of Jesus Christ. 